All right, guys, I know this is a bit of a weird one, but here we have a character analysis. So we all know the amazing Cars 2 is one of the greatest films of all time, one of Pixar's best. But I was wondering about like one of these, like one of the uh, characters in this that really strikes a chord to me. Now, before we get into this, I need to get into the plot of this film. Basically, Lightning goes on a, on a worldwide trip across the world racing, and this 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 kind of this kind of urges me in this and it's before we get into the whole anal analysis this one scene basically it it doesn't make sense just 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 listen to it real quick no i know i just got back but we won't oh, be long no don't worry about me i mean i've got enough to do here mater's gonna have a blast though you're bringing mater right you never bring him to any of your races <laughs> Just let him sit in the pits, give him a headset. Come on, it'll be the thrill of a lifetime for him. Okay, okay, but like in Cars 3, there is a visible photo of Mater being at one of the races. Now, you might say this is from the first movie, but Sally is there and she was never even at the final race. She was in Radiator Springs and it had to be whenever Doc was still alive because this was before he died. So physically, and I mean physically, he had to have been one of the races before in before he went on the world tour but whatever man I, the, I, f I feel like cars 3 was like oh my god we need to get some emotional photos to show the good times and they're like just put mater in there cars 2 doesn't even matter just, just doesn't whatever whatever so so in cars 2 they go to japan they get to the cool uh, party and we, and we go and we meet one of the greatest characters in this movie that basically drives the whole plot of the film. And the tires. Let's go! Oh, look at this! Okay, now, Mater, remember best behavior. You got it, buddy. Hey, what's that? Look, Mater! Hey, McQueen! Over here! Lewis! Hey, man. Jeff! Hey, Lightning! Can you believe this party? Hey! You done good, you got all the leaves. Check out that tow truck, man. I wonder who that guy's with. Ah. Okay, that alone was mere seconds, but that still had such a major impact on the film. I mean, like, the dissection in the main hypocrisy and ideology of this movie mainly hinges on that mere frame of film. I mean, like, okay, so think of this. Lightning McQueen is best friends with Mater, he's his best pal, but that's mainly in Radiator Springs because, to the truth be told, he's kind of embarrassed with him out, like, out about, of, of course, he, do, he doesn't mean it in any negative light, it's just he feels like it's just different, and it really comes ahead in this, in this movie, of, like, how Lightning needs to learn, he needs to accept Mater for who he is, and Jeff Corvette really drives this home. I just noticed that Jeff Gordon and Jeff Corvette is supposed to be a pun on Corvettes and, and, and Jeff's last name. I just got that. So anyway, we go to, we, we're, we're in the race. We're, we're looking good. We're looking clean. And Mater, Mater just fucks up lightning. <laughs> he loses the praise for being a dumbass. God damn it, Mater. <laughs> Honestly, what can I say? I mean, like the fact that they just, the the fact that he just snaps it up that quick. I mean, I think Jeff Corvette is the real driving point of this whole movie of how it really shows of how insecure some people can be just by listening and just being influenced by people. Sure, Jeff, sure Jeff Corvette is a good person at all, but that one comment really dictated the whole shaping of this whole entire narrative and the biblical proportions this story held, holds because cars 2 isn't just about going fast and having spies it's about being cinema it's about making a difference making people learn to live life to the fullest to be in the fast lane to be there and jeff corvette is the one that is to do this now sure he may be out of the movie for most of the runtime especially due to the spy stuff but he, he, he comes back, he comes back later. 
Dude, those animals are so fucking funny, they make me want to merge without looking. <laughs> yeah, run out! I don't know why. It is it is so funny how Jeff Gordon and Lewis don't get hit because they're like the they're cause cause they're known like actual real life race cars and they didn't want their likeness to get messed up or something. Come on. That's not fair. <laughs> So, um, that's really what, uh, all we see of Jeff, and, and then until the final battle, and the, the spy stuff, and, yeah, that, that's really about it, and, and then he comes back in the end for the, for the final race, and this really shows you how much of a role Jeff Corvette has to this entire story, and, and then he has a slight, small cameo in Cars 3, which is a very nice touch, because a lot of people think that Cars 2 is trash, but obviously they're wrong and are gonna go to hell. And yeah, honestly, I think Jeff Corvette really solidifies the importance and significance of this film, franchise, and Pixar as a whole. Honestly, I don't know what they would do without him.